Hey YouTube, I am back with another video. I know, I say this every time I make a video. I know it's been a minute, but I am back. Um, this time, not really talking about weight loss, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update of where I'm at in life right now. So, you know, it's been a minute since I made a video. Life is kind of... Not taking a toll on me, but I've just gotten caught up with life and I just haven't been recording. Every week I say I'm going to record and I haven't been recording. But anyway, I moved again. So I'm currently in my new place. And, um, you know, relationship, moving toward more serious things. And so um, this video is just kind of about like some news, we'll call it, that I've gotten recently. So, I'm 28, I'll be 29 on April 26th. And so, you know, as you get older, you kind of, and it's not for everybody, but most women start to lean in the direction of kids, marriage, you know, just depending on how your life is going. You kind of just lean in the direction of, you know, kids, marriage, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I had went to my, my OBGYN just for like a regular checkup and I was just like, you know, like I said, as I'm getting older, I know that marriage and kids is something that is going to be coming up in the near future. So, you know, I just wanna make sure everything's everything. So, you know, I had them do a bunch of tests. I had them do the works. Um, and so they basically did a bunch of fertility testing and kind of like did a bunch of blood work. It was just appointment after appointment after appointment. And, um, you know, the blood work came back pretty normal. Everything was fine up until I got to this one point. So just in case you kids did not pay attention in biology class, um, female reproductive system you have an ovary that drops an egg that egg meets with the sperm and then it travels up your tubes and drops off in your uterus where the egg would then the egg and the sperm would then try to implant itself on your uterine wall and that's how you become pregnant well one of the tests that the fertility doctor has you do is um called uh hsg some long history blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's called an HSG you can google it and basically this is and a type of x-ray that is done to make sure that your tubes are open and so because you cannot get pregnant without your tubes being open this is just something that they do routinely when it comes to fertility testing so mind you there was there's nothing there's nothing wrong with me um that made me want to get this checked out i just felt like so i've talked about this in previous videos um i would go like when i was bigger i would go like three or four months without a period and then when my period finally came it would just stay on for a month a month and a half of just pure bleeding going through heavy pads um but once i lost weight it kind of regulated itself out but you know obviously i just wanted to go get checked out just because i wanted to make sure like i said um me and my boyfriend are getting pretty serious you know talking marriage kids that whole jazz so i just wanted to make sure everything was normal it's not like there was I was having any pain or anything I'm just not a hypochondriac but I'm just a person who I I don't know I like to make sure everything's good just for my own peace of mind but in this case it really didn't give me peace of mind it kind of made life not life worse but it just kind of it wasn't what I was expecting here so I'll get this HSG okay now first they try to do the HSG one and the hsg basically he's saying because i've i've never had kids some people just have like a tight cervix and it was just like really tight and he couldn't get the catheter through to do the test so we had to repeat the test over again in order for him to do the test 
he had to manually dilate my cervix okay I had to take medication this was like a big deal so I had to take medication he manually dilated my cervix and then after he manually dilated my cervix then he put this little piece of seaweed inside of my cervix to keep it open and so mind you like this might have been at eight o'clock in the morning my appointment wasn't until nine so I had to sit with this thing inside of me for an hour and drive and and drive to the place and get it done so then when he gets there he takes it out he does the test now he's doing a whole bunch of prying and poking and poking and prying and trying to get this trying to get this uh catheter in and then they pump iv dye through your tubes and what's supposed to happen is the dye is supposed to go into your tubes and spill out and so that just shows that you have open tubes. Well, in my case, where the tube meets my uterus, the, the dye didn't go through at all. And so immediately, like, I am an emotional wreck. When I say I'm an emotional wreck, I'm literally, like, bawling my eyes out. Because, like, you know, as a child, you just always see yourself with kids. You just always see, like your life being a certain way so just thinking of that possibly not happening is just enough to literally drive anybody crazy so i'm just crying and i'm just bawling my eyes out and bawling my eyes out and bawling my eyes out and like you know my boyfriend is just so supportive because he's just like you know everything will be fine like, don't worry about it we're going to be fine blah blah, blah. but you know just hearing news like that is just nobody wants to hear that and so basically huh, so the catch is this is that my tubes could be blocked or they could not be blocked um basically he's saying that you know your uterine your uter your uterus is like a like any other muscle that's inside of your body so like because he put me through so much to get the test it could have been that just my muscle was spasming and I just like it just looked like it's blocked but it's not really blocked um or it could really be blocked and then i would have to do ivf to have a baby so you know modern day medicine i feel like they just always push like the unnatural way and so you of course He's like, oh, your insurance covers IVF. Like, we could do IVF no problem. Just let me know when you want to get started, blah, blah, blah. And it's just a bunch to take in all at once. It just really is. Like, I don't know. It was just a lot. So, basically, he's pushing for IVF. Um, or I could do this surgery, this laparoscopy surgery, which... The surgery doesn't necessarily fix anything, but the surgery would be done to see if my tubes are really blocked or if it just seemed that way because of all the pain he put me through. So it's just no lie. It's just really been a lot. Like I can't even lie to you. It's just, it really is. It's just too much. It's too much. So, I mean... I just wanted to kind of share a bit of my story that I'm currently going through right now at this second. Um, you know, as I go forward with this whole process, right now I'm undecided on what I'm going to do. I don't think that I am going to do IVF anytime soon. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated with the progress and just keep you updated with how everything goes. And yeah, I will be back with another video soon.